I'm going to show you how to make cash flow from anywhere in the world. Chris, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show uh, where we work together one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I reach out to you. Well, first you guys reach out to us, right? You go, you buy a package, right? You go to HoltonWise.com, you order an MLS Search and Analysis package. We sell them in, uh, you can buy single properties, but most people buy them in the three, the four, or the 10 pack. Then I reach out to you. Right, and I get your wants, your needs, your goals. Uh, you tell me about yourself, what you're trying to accomplish, the types of money you're playing with, and I try to pair you with the best possible cash flow investments, or you know, if we're doing flips or seller financing or any of that. Right, it's, I, I find you uh, what is closest to what you're looking for, and I give you tips on uh, on what's happening, how the business works, and if your expectations are incorrect. I try to adjust those expectations as we continue to work together, right? And the ultimate goal is to allow you to have the same type of financial freedom that I'm able to have, right? Sometimes you guys see me in the Holton Wise TV studio. Sometimes I work at home, right? But Chris, my man, don't you worry. Unlike my dude, Jeff Tubin from The New Yorker, I am in fact wearing pants. There is no scenario where I will be masturbating during your video, brother. So, uh, Please do me the solid, no matter how good the deal is. Don't do it. Uh, don't do me the same, right? Don't do it to me when you're watching the video, even if the cash flow is too good for you, brother. Um, this property that I found for you, okay? Now I think this is gonna work uh, pretty damn well. Um, but what you did, right? We've done a, you know, we've done videos before, right? And uh, before this video. You, you gave me some new information. You, you kind of want to shift gears a little bit. You kind of wanted my thought process uh, on what you're trying to do, right? And this kind of goes back to, I got to adjust expectations a little bit, right? So I'm taking what you're telling me, right? But I, I made a couple little deviations, right? So what you said, you're like, hey, man, uh, I, got, I got money, right? I got $125,000 to work with. It's in cash at the moment, but some of that is from a HELOC, right? For those of you who don't know, that's a HELOC, H-E-L-O-C, stands for Home Equity Line of Credit, right? So you're paying, you're paying money, right? You're paying, you're paying principal and interest back on that home equity line of credit, right? So it's, it's cash, but it's a loan, right? But you're using that to finance other properties. And you were thinking about uh, doing some multifamily deals where you'd be in the, like the ten to $15,000 down payment range. But if we do multifamily deals with 10K down, bro, that puts you at like $40,000. There's really no duplexes I could put you in at 40K. When, when you're doing 15, uh, we're getting close, right? But even then, I think you need to go up a little bit. And that, that's what brought me to this one, dude. This, based on what, what I think you're trying to do, slightly different than what you asked me to produce for you, but based on what I think you're trying to do, I think this is what you really should be doing or want to be doing, right? 7501 Brinsmaid, Cleveland, 44102. Been on the market about three weeks, listed at 79.9. This is a cash cow, brother. This thing is a cash flow monster, right? As you see from the photos, we got tenants in there, right? We got tenants living in the property. Now, don't, don't beat me up for this. Some of these photos are not the greatest, right? On the MLS search and analysis show, you know, we're working with what the other agents put on the market, right? And, you know, we got some like blurry pictures. Like there's like a picture of the kitchen, which is just kind of like a crappy picture. They're like in a hallway and you got the fridge and the countertop. And then the very next picture is, it's like the same angle, but like a much shittier version of the same photo. Like why the fuck this agent decided to put that in there? I don't know. Then there's some other photos where it's kind of like the same thing, kind of blurry. Uh, but you know what? I like all that. I like when these agents, they put like crummy listings out, right? You know, real estate, is, it's an imperfect business, right? You know, sometimes properties sell for more, sometimes they sell for less. I've sold the same property uh, various times, like, you know, throughout my career, right? There's been properties where I've worked on them multiple times. And, 
you know, things go up, things go down, yada, 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 right? It's an imperfect business. And, you know, the good thing is uh, if, if we know what we're doing and we know when to strike, we can maybe take advantage of some of these imperfect situations, right? So I love when I, when I see listings out there where it looks like the real estate agent is not putting forth their best effort, right? When I see a, a shitty ass photo and then the next photo is the same shitty photo, but like a shittier version of it. It's like, bro, what are you doing, right? So uh, I think we can, you know, kind of strong arm those types of agents, kind of kind of roll them over, right? It's, it's not like agents, we're all like best buddies, right? I know some agents think that, right? But I, I work for you, Chris, right? I am your guy, you hired me, you're paying me, you're paying me to do this, right? I don't work for this seller. I don't care about this seller. I have a fiduciary duty to you, brother. So, you know, I'm guessing based on what I'm seeing, uh, seeing as I am the number one seller of rental real estate in the entire Cleveland market, I'm thinking that when me and this agent, we go toe to toe in negotiations, I I'm thinking it's going to be an ass whooping, right? I'm thinking it's, uh, you know, a heavyweight versus a featherweight or something, right? So that's good. I like seeing stuff like that. And because of that, I'm going to try to get you a little discount here, right? They got it listed at 79.9. I think I could pick it up for you at 75. And you might be like, yo, bro, you just said you're a heavyweight. And that's only $5,000. I'm not that impressed. Bro, I didn't give you the rents yet. One unit bringing in $750, the other unit bringing in $700, right? So we got $1,450 coming in, $17,400 a year. Doing our, our chart, our normal fixed and variable expense estimates, right? Of that $1,450, I anticipate $718 going out the door to operate it, right? So $17,400 comes in. 8616 goes out for the year. If we pick it up at 75, Chris, that my friend is only going to require you to put down 18,750, right? So we're very close. We're very close to what you're talking about, right? You're trying to be in there for 15k down. This is 18,750 and that's going to pencil out to a 31% cash on cash return. My opinion, more than enough uh cash flow for you to um, you know, deal with the additional cost of your money, right? There's like no scenario in the, in the Cleveland market, we're going to be able to bring you a price to rent ratio better than this, right? So uh, this is, you know, this is about as good as it's ever going to get. This is actually better than uh, what it normally is, right? It's, it's rare that you can buy $1,450 a month in rent for a price point of, in my opinion, I think we'll get it at 75. Now, some of that is because I think, uh, you know, maybe we're dealing with a, a listing agent that's not at the top of their game, right? Just, I mean, honestly, like 1450 dude, I'm selling properties with that kind of rent for, you know, at least $100,000, right? So we're doing good. But in addition to that, uh, I believe we're going to be dealing with a property that's going to have very old mechanicals, right? So the furnaces, the hot water tanks and the roof, the big three, I don't have any reason to believe that the three of them do not uh, work at the moment. But when we get your home inspection, do not anticipate any of those are going to be new. In my opinion, I am expecting all three of them to be towards the end of their useful life, right? Home inspectors, they kind of write the same general thing, right? When they get to a furnace, because furnace lasts about 30 years. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. Roofs last about 30 years. Essentially, when you guys do your inspections, the inspector, they say the same shit, right? It's just like a same generic uh, tagline that they use to make sure you don't sue them down the road, right? If they see a furnace, it might be like, let's guess it's like 26 years old or something, right? They'll say, furnace has exceeded its useful life. Recommend you have a certified HVAC technician look at it. They'll say the same, something similar, right, with the roof. Recommend a roof or look at it, right? Same, same stuff, right? What that means is it's all, dog. We're going to rock it until it stops working, right? They last about 30 years, right? So we're, we're getting close to being on borrowed time. So when we don't have to have an HVAC tech come in, right? We already know that information, right? So we continue to operate the property, continue to work with that furnace. The day that furnace goes down, we don't waste money trying to get a HVAC tech to fix it. We know we're on borrowed time. We go in, we drop 3K, we replace it, and now we should be good for approximately 30 years. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. The roof, we know we're going to have that roof repair coming up soon, right? 
this probably is a big duplex. It was probably like an $8,000 roof, right? Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years to cost the Jeep, right? So know that that's what we're getting, right? So this isn't a scenario uh, where we make our offer and then you go, oh my God, dude, turns out the furnace, the, the inspector said we need to have an HVAC guy look at the furnace. No, that's not what that means, bro. It's just, I, I'm guessing we're going to be dealing with very old stuff like that. So know that those, co those costs are coming up. But if I could take your attention back to the chart, as you see, I put in a line item, $72 a month or $864 a year for those types of things, right? Capital expenditures, right? I put that in there. That's money that's going to you right now Why these all work. But I want you to not consider that a return. I want you to be saving that $864 because eventually those costs are coming. And in my opinion, they're coming in the next couple of years, right? I also did the same for repairs and maintenance vacancy and non-payment, right? That's the type of stuff that's going to hit you at your turnovers, right? We're getting great rent right now. But, you know, we're dealing with like CD class type investing, right? Uh, you know, we evictions, they're part of the game. Turnovers, they're part of the game. We do our best to alleviate those. Like we're going to rock these tenants who are, as we're told, current with their rent right now. But one day they won't be. One day they'll move out. Maybe they got to move somewhere else. Maybe they lose their job. This or that. I don't know what's going to happen. But eventually one day you got to understand these folks are probably moving out and then you're going to have to do a turnover. When that happens, though, we're going to put Section 8 tenants in this property, right? Because Section 8 tenants, uh, in our experiences at Holton Wise, they stay longer and they are far less likely to miss rental payments. Why? Because the government is who's paying their rent, dude, and the government always pays their bills, right? Section 8 cheddar. So this is what I thought would work for you. When you gave me some new information, some new criteria, even though it's more than your 10 to 15K down payment target, I thought that this would work for you because you've also expressed to me that you're not interested in doing like a big rehab. You wanted something like with tenants in there or very close to it, right? So based upon what you're, you've told me in the past, what you changed it to, what's available in the market and my thoughts on everything and the business in general, I, I thought this would make sense for you, right? So send this to you in a private link, reply to the private link. If you want to move forward with the offer, Let's do that. Let's get a third-party inspector in there. I've kind of set you up with uh, some expectations on what I think you're getting. Uh, very much would be a steal at 75K, even with all those mechanicals being old. Again, I'm selling something like this for at least 100K, right? Uh, I'm also going to do the marketing, in my opinion, a little bit better, right? Y'all, if you, don't, if you haven't seen it yet, y'all, you need to check out the Investment Properties for Sales show. That is why we're the number one seller of rental real estate in the Cleveland market, guys. People are putting up crappy, blurry photos. We are providing you guys with full financial breakdowns as well as drone footage and full video tours. We have the property management, the maintenance, the insurance, everything, right? We, we, have, we have perfected the art of uh, scattered site property management and investment in the Cleveland market, guys. We are the one-stop shop. So there's a reason we're number one. There's a reason you Google Cleveland real estate investing or you watch you know, YouTube videos on Cleveland real estate investing, turnkey investing, all that jazz. There's a reason that my mug pops up before anybody else's. There's a reason Holton Wise TV is the biggest channel in this market, biggest company in this market. There's no competitors doing anything close to what we're doing, right? There's a reason for that. You don't believe me, watch the hundreds of hours of footage out there, right? So that's that's where I'm at, uh, Chris. That's what I think. I think this would be a solid deal, but hey, it's your money, right? I could only advise you. I could only tell you my thoughts, my opinions. It's all about you. It's your portfolio. If you think I'm off base, if you want to stick to a lower budget, let me know, and on the next video, I will, uh, I will work with that new information and see what I can come up with. But in my opinion, I thought this was the right way for you to go. So just reach out to the private email. We'll either make the offer, get started on negotiations, or I'll get your feedback, and I will get to work on your next video making some adjustments. Everybody else, if you enjoyed this video on Holton Wise TV, you can get your own set of videos and work with me just like Chris is working with me in real time by going to HoltonWise.com, clicking the property search for sale tab, clicking the MLS search analysis show and ordering a package. What you're seeing right now, this deal is not available. Don't think you just click off the video and then go buy the property, right? That would be stupid. Why, why would Chris pay for this service if I let you guys have it? I released these videos a couple months down the road, right? Uh, so by the way, being that it's a couple months down the road, right? All the Jeff Tubin masturbating jokes. Know that when I sent this to Chris, that was like the day after all that stuff broke. So 
it was probably a lot funnier uh, for Chris than for you guys because it was probably top of mind because, I mean, you know, it's not often that <laughs> a big time reporter has got jerking off on Zoom, right? Uh, so know that it was funny as hell when he got it, guys. You guys got it a couple months later because I then released them publicly on Holton Wise TV. He gets them privately so we can do the deal. You guys get them for free on Holton Wise TV to learn. So if you want to get in the action in real time, you got to get your own show. Again, show notes below, or you go to HoltonWise.com to start working with my team. After you make your purchase, we'll reach out to you, get your wants, your needs, your goals, and we'll start the process. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with me uh, on today's show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.